What now, Wolf? Well, here's where our paths part. Shut up. Was I that bad? No, but you came awfully close, Yuld. Survived by a hair. Take care, Casimir. Here's hoping Euphemia sees the light, comes back. Oh, player her moods and ayers. With the gold I've got, love just ain't nothing I need. <laughs> In that case, you and your coin purse live happily ever after. For a herring. Crown a piece. Oh, Any truth to do? Need to chat. I'm all ears, Witcher. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, right, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Cool. That's better. All right. What do you have for me? Max Bersodi's house, as requested. The papers. Where are they? Left them in the vault. You wanted the house, you got the house. Never mentioned its contents. You're a quick study. Already as tricky as Odim himself. Keen to ridicule a man. Do you know what I and the company do with your type? No. Dying to hear, though. Always liked a tale with a thrill. I'm in no mood for jests. Neither am I. Did my job, Olgird. Delivered what you asked for, to the letter. I'm happy? Hell, should have chosen your words more carefully. Yes, I should have. I assume you came to an agreement with Horst. Shame. A right horse in that one. 
made a deal with his brother, who then beat the living shit out of Horst with a gold candle holder. Huh. It's progress. Why did you even need those papers? To sink the Borsodis, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellate. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Marius Hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Aim to deliver those papers to the right hands. Borsodi would have landed in the streets. And the hospital would have gotten the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. Made her wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family, they took on some debt, a poor investment in a sawmill, a bad crop one year, a lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover, but Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaired immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed prints by my father's soul. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah, Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor, one from beyond the sea. The anger I felt, I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern, drank around, a second, a broad, then had another tanker. And then, then I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Ah. Uh. What happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Third Wish time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. Come on. None of this dallying. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shots about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. They are theory believe one should only discuss important matters.
matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. We'll drink once the job's done. Afraid that's impossible. Succeed and that's the end of me. Fail and you'll not be back. Third wish, still waiting to hear it. Why, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this Dormus, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you can tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Need another way in. Kendrick! Kendrick! You there? Not so loud. Ah! God, scared me off to- Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F Foglets? Oh, sweet mother Malitali, why'd I ever come here? Kendrick fellow, who is he? I... we partners. Sneaking to derelict houses. With something valuable lying about. Mm-hmm. So you're a thief? Thief steal from the living. What's the arm taken from the dead? 
Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. And nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... What was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. Fresh manure. Water's ice cold, mountain stream cold. Rather worn, used often, wonder by who. A busted lamp. And the grounds trampled. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? Someone dragged a wounded man through here. from cleated boots, leading from the back of the garden. I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. Unmarked, laid out in rows like garden beds. Hey, hear me? Thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you?